again. Welcome back. It's Brubacuin. Today on the menu, we are doing uh, pork chops. I have a good family friend, came back from Seattle, spent a few months up there. They were doing a bunch of the urban farming thing, you know, canning, doing all that kind of stuff. She brought back green tomato relish with strict instructions that I needed to do a video on it. So here we go. We're gonna do these uh, pork chops. We're gonna braise them in a, in a nice little Pinot Grigio, get a little bit of fruitiness from the wine. You get it like the, the green tomato relish has like a nice sweetness. It's almost like a, like a regular dill or you know, regular sweet pickle relish, but it, it, it's almost a little sweeter flavor to it. So let's get this started. We're gonna add to the skillet, just a little bit of olive oil just to help conduce the, uh, <laughs> just to add, help browning, uh, start the browning process on this. You're gonna wanna, uh, you know, sear these a little bit, get a nice browning, brown equals flavor. You're always gonna hear that. It's the, uh, that whole Maillard reaction thing that, that uh, makes everything really good. So we'll get these going. So I'll get these seared on both sides and then uh, we'll start this the uh, braising process. All right, we're just about ready to flip these here. These are starting to look awesome. Got a nice browning to them. But before we do that, you're always gonna wanna continually season while you're cooking. So we're just gonna add a little bit of pepper and some salt. You always don't wanna go too overboard. You don't wanna over salt this or anything at this point, but uh, you definitely want to be seasoning throughout your cooking. So we'll flip these. Already looking pretty good. The smell coming off these is incredible. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just season the back of these. All right, a few more minutes on this side and then uh, we'll start the braising. The searing is just about done. I mean, you can see it's got a nice golden color, nice little browning to it. Now what we're going to do is braising is basically just cooking in a liquid. We're using today, I know it's normally Brubacoon, but we're going to be wine queuing today. We're using the uh, Menage a Trois Pinot Grigio. And uh, it's going to add, like I said, a nice little fruitiness to the, uh, to the pork as well as, you know, pairing nicely with that green tomato relish. So to braise this, what we're going to do is we're going to throw about a cup of chicken stock in here. And then we're gonna top it off to about halfway, uh, halfway to the height of, of the pork. And we're just gonna let this simmer and kind of cook in its own juices. Some cardamom seeds here, cardamom seeds that we're gonna throw in. We're gonna add about five of those in. We got a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic that's going in. And like I said, we're just gonna let this sit for probably another, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll see how it goes. See you in a few. We just hit about the 30 minute mark. Pork, you wanna get to at least 145 internal temperature. That's the uh, safe handling, you know, cooking temp. So we just hit that. We're gonna pull these off, let them rest for a few minutes. The smell that is coming off this though is making me just so hungry. I mean, you can see we got you know, a really great browning going on here. And uh, because we're braising it in this liquid, it should stay super juicy and moist. So we'll let this sit here for about a few minutes. We'll top this off with that green uh, tomato relish I was talking about with a little bit of fresh dill and uh, bite into this, see how it tastes. <laughs> Cheers. So we let this rest about three, four minutes. It's looking incredible, it smells even better. Now it's time for that, uh, green tomato relish that I was talking about. We're just going to pile this like a nice little spoonful on top here. Maybe not that much, but we're going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of fresh dill. A little presentation and there you have it. I cannot wait to bite into this. So Let's get to it. All right, one last thing to do just because we can. I'm gonna take some of this braising liquid here and dump it over the top and just give it a little bit of 
all that amazingness that was in there. So let's bite into this thing. All right, here we go. The pork is cooked absolutely perfect. Um, you can really tell from there, but it's not dry at all one bit. The flavor, you know, from the uh, wine and, and the chicken broth, absolutely perfect. I didn't want to over season the pork because I wanted that relish to come through and, and it really is. It, the sweetness with the pork is just absolutely incredible. So we're going to call this one a good one. We will see you guys later. Thanks for showing up. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, any thumbs up or comments you want to give. More than appreciated. We'll see you guys later.